Hello everyone. Welcome to happymath.com. So today, so we want to talk about how to create that conditional probability table and then also find their probability. So like we did last time, we want to use Excel program and then find out how to create that table. And then also we want to find out some example out of all through A through H, but not everything though, okay? So let's look at the Excel program then. So here, this is sample uh, example. And then from here, I'm gonna find out the mean age. And then also I'm gonna fill out this table based on this category, greater than or equal to mean or less than mean, okay? So before I start, because I'm going to find out also total, so I'm going to put total for this column and then this row as well. Okay, then let's begin. So the first step, so you supposed to collect all this data with both gender and male and female. So I recommend you don't have you you collect this data a little bit unevenly. So in my case, I have 14 data of the male and 16 for the female. Okay, so you don't have to collect 15 and 15. Anyway, so let's find out mean age. So, so last time uh, when we talk about central tendency, mean means average. So what I want to do. I'm gonna click this blank and then make equal sign and type average. And then open the parenthesis. So as you see, we have two different columns. So I'm gonna highlight all data of the male and comma, all data of the female and close the parenthesis, enter. Then you will get uh, mean age of 22.66667 like that. So I'm gonna round about 22.7. Okay, so now I start completing this table here. So as you see, we have some condition. So this part, we only fit out the male and female and the greater than or equal to mean and the less than mean this row here. So, male, I already divide the male column here, so I don't need any condition, but all this data, some of them are maybe less than this amount, or some of them are greater than or equal to, or equal to this amount. So I'm going to use pound to if format. So click the blank and equal sign and say count. And then open the parentheses. They will, it will ask you the range. Range means I only select male here, all this data, and comma. So this time we want to find out the greater than or equal to the mean. So don't forget this symbol first, and then greater and equal, and the value is 22.7. And close, uh, complete this double column here and then close that and then you get the count of, uh, male, uh, who is greater than or equal to the mean. So less than mean, we are doing the exactly same step. So equal count if open the parenthesis and clear all the male data, comma. So, semicolon, and this time less than mean, so I'm going to do less than 22.7, and don't forget, close that too, and close the parenthesis, enter. Then you will get 7 again. Now, female, so now we are using this column here, okay, so equals, count, if, and range become female this time comma, and 
So greater or equal 22.7 and close that. Eight. And here count if we select the female data. Come on, we are doing less than. So less than 22.7 this way. Then we will get this amount. Now we want to find total here. So total means in this total you are combining male and female those data greater than or equal to the mean. So what I want to do, click that and you see here all the sum, then usually it highlight uh, the data what I want automatically and enter. So here, so click that and then make Follow highlight, then it will add like the two. Okay. Now the column here, all of them, enter, and I go until the last part, and it gives you all the sum of the each column here. So far, so good, right? Okay. So using this table, now we start to find all those questions here. So as I told you, I'm not putting all the question. I just put in partially, okay? Of course, we can just use this table value, but what if we have uh, their percentage value already? Then they, they can be much more clear and easier too, right? And then what I want to do, copy this table one more time. And maybe below here, just um, paste it. Okay. But here, I'm going to delete everything because the value will be different. You divide each number divided by total number here. So this becomes equal to 7 divided by 30. And female also equal to 8 divided by 30. That equal to 7 divided by 30. That equal to 8 divided by 30. Okay, now I'm going to find out sum of each row total and each column total. So just click here, a auto sum. It will give you this sum. The order sum again. And here columns. Order sum. Order sum. Here. Order sum. And then you must double check you got the one here. Otherwise, you know, your calculation is incorrect. Okay? This value, the last column here, that must be one. Then you have a correct answer. Okay? So, now, we are ready to solve uh, those probability. But beforehand, I also want to let you know uh, how to find the conditional probability formula. Okay? So when you find the conditional probability, then you are using this formula. For example, probability A, given that B, then first of all, you are finding probability A and B first and divide by probability itself, B here, okay? So we will cover this one very soon. So, at the beginning, so find the probability female. Okay, so we can notate probability female. So probability female, which means uh, total of the female here, so that will be 0.53. Um, make sense to you? So once more, the reason I put, I select this amount because we're going to find out probability of the total female. That's why it becomes 0.53. Now, find the probability less than mean. So less than means, so now I can make notation, probability and mean.
that becomes less than minutes right here, so which the point five. But there will be a uh, less than mean probability. Okay, now find the probability of male given that greater than or equal to the mean. So this means probability male given that greater than or equal to mean. And how to do it? So you are finding their in interaction, intersection, so A and B, male and greater than or equal to the mean, which is right here, right? So this is the value, male and greater than mean, greater than or equal to the mean here. So I want to say that equal to this and over, and then probability base here, which is greater than or equal to the mean. That is 0.5, okay? 0.5. Then 0.4667, that will be the answer for that. Now, find the probability of less than the mean given the female. Okay, so I can notate this one. Probability less than mean given the female. Okay. Then now you know what to do. Basically, you're finding the intersection between less than mean and female, which is right here. So that's the uh, less than mean and female. That divide by. Now, this bottom becomes a female here. So what's the female? This number. Okay. Enter. And you got the answer for what? Um, find the probability of less than mean given the female. Now, are less than the mean and female independent event? Okay. If they're independent event, then normal probability and conditional probability, they are equal. What I want to do, the probability less than the mean and the female equal to probability less than the mean okay, double check both of them probability female given that less than the mean equal to probability female then we can say they're independent so now when I say the less than the mean given the female was 0.5, so 0.5, and now find the probability less than the mean, also 0.5. So as you see, they are equal to each other. So now, so far, we can say the independent event, but at the same time, they must satisfy probability female less than the mean equal to probability female. So I'm going to find out the female less than the mean, which is uh, the intersection first, female and less than this number, divide by, and then less than the mean, which is this number. So we got this amount. Now, is that equal to female? The female was 0.53, right? Okay, so as you see, uh, this conditional probability and normal probability that equal to each other. Also, the other one, female less, uh, given the less than the mean and probability female, they are kind of same amount. So now our conclusion. So two events are independent. Okay, that's it. So, but don't assume they always become independent. You know, most likely they are dependent, but this scenario, we got independent event. All right. I hope this video helped you to complete a uh, probability assignment. And then I'm going to see you with the next video. All right. Thank you. Bye.